am Greg Carpenter, General and Artistic Director of Opera Colorado. Hey, I'm Tom Chipolo. I'm from New York, and I'm the composer of Josephine and Afterlife. My name is Gerald Horner, and I'm the Deputy Director here at Kirkland Museum of Fine and Decorative Art in Denver. I'm Omar Bansadi, and I'm the Stage Director for Josephine and Afterlife. I'm Andrew Altenbach, and I'm the Conductor for Josephine and Afterlife. Opera is uh, on the face of it. It's the craziest thing in the world, isn't it? Uh, nobody goes through their whole life singing. But there's one thing I am certain of, and I bet everyone will agree with me, and that is music has a way that no one understands to amplify your emotions. Presenting new work is a great way to bring opera to our community with immediacy, uh, to be out in the community and not just expect our community to come to us. When Greg Carpenter of Opera Colorado approached me about this idea of bringing Afterlife and Josephine to Kirkland Museum, I was thrilled. I knew that this space would be a wonderful opportunity to bridge the gap between fine art and uh, performance art. Working on pieces like Josephine and Afterlife has been really fun creative adventure because they're sort of unusual pieces and they sort of put into question a lot of interesting questions about art and about theater and, and about an artist's role. And so doing it in an unusual venue like this is fun because um, the Kirkland Museum sort of like gives us this fun atmosphere of being in an intimate environment and sort of having this crazy intimacy in this piece as well. Opera isn't necessarily about the big theater and the wigs and the big dresses that we get stereotyped for. It's a There's a wide array of storytelling that's interesting and can be enriching to one's life. Quite often, Denver gets overlooked as a great art mecca. The cultural offerings in Denver are so important to our community. And the quality of what Opera Colorado does, whether it's at the Opera House or here at the Kirkland Museum with our small contemporary operas. Denver and Colorado are fortunate because some of the greatest minds from both coasts <laughs> have come to Denver. The creative community here has been so supportive in, in allowing for new works, um, in introducing the public and introducing us to pieces that we wouldn't have been able to be to have access to. This country is swarming with brilliant musicians. They're as good as any you find in any other part of the country. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Opera is very much relevant to us. The opera corresponds with the questions and the issues and the concerns that we're all walking around with on the day to day. We want to reflect the times we live in. If we want to have an audience that grows, that continues, we have to talk about the topics that are important to us. 